unbelievably, uh, I know, the election is less than a week away. Uh, but the promises made by the politicians, businesses are still struggling with inflation and energy prices. Our West Midlands reporter, Jack Carson, has been finding out what hospitality wants from the next government. <laughs> Month by month, more British boozers call last orders for the final time. In the first three months of 2024, pub closures were up 51% on last year. Since the pandemic, the hospitality industry feels like it's never really recovered. With three and a half million people employed in the sector, its sustainability is vital for the next government. But inflation and energy bills have left a bitter taste. In Smethwick in the West Midlands, Davenports have been brewing since 1829. This is a fermenter. This is where all the sugars that are from the wort after the boil are transferred, cooled down to a suitable temperature for the yeast, and the yeast then converts those sugars into alcohol and carbon dioxide. Brewer Miles explains how difficult making their ales and lagers has become. The physical ingredients themselves, the ones that you would normally think about, the grains, the hops, obviously the farmers have to pay more to be able to grow them now. Their time is at a premium, their land is being more heavily taxed. So we're at a point where grains are getting relatively more expensive. So we're all kind of sat there watching this downward spiral in prices, which is eventually going to rub off on our profitability. As far as the duty goes, though, the rate is such a huge portion of our production cost. You've got your energy, you've got your raw materials, but duty is coming out around 40% of the cost per individual package pint that we sell. The Conservatives say they'll launch a review of licensing laws and planning rules aimed at boosting venues like pubs within the first 100 days. Labour, meanwhile, have promised new right-to-buy powers given to communities to purchase pubs on the brink and, like the Liberal Democrats, reform business rates in England. But in the Davenport's pub, The Queen's Head, what will make the difference to this brewery? Let's talk about business rates, the, the relief on those. Let's prolong that, Let's give us a stable base. Um, I'd start looking at the energy costs and maybe some sort of relief for small businesses or hospitality businesses, where it is a fundamental part of what you do all the time. Customers rely on that. But the energy of the brewery, particularly at the brewery, went from, you know, like £3,000 a month to £10,000 a month, uh, just, for the, just actually for brewing beer. Um, which makes it, and you can't obviously put your prices up to match, can you? So it makes it virtually impossible to, to stand. I'd want to see taxation. I'd want to see some sort of taxation and the duty on alcohol. I mean, the supermarket versus the pint in a bar. How can that be right? The disparity there. Um, I just think level the playing field. We were talking about this the other day, weren't we? Yes. Level the playing field. Promises from the politicians, but a warning from hospitality. Urgent action is needed for the Great British pub's ultimate survival. Jack Carson, GB News.